Hey everybody, I'm Ada. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hey, and if you are old, what's up? Um, today I'm actually doing a talk through video. Let's see how this goes because I've become very, very self reliant on my voiceovers that doing one of these, kind of like, okay, girl, what? What do you want to say? What do you want to be here? But yeah, I think I'm getting something ready. I can't never sit down to record a video. I'm always forgetting something. Um, wait a second, what's going on? Just gonna pick that up. Ooh, this is pretty, nice and matte. Let's see if it goes with the look. Cause I'm going for a more pinky, cutie, orange look. I bought this palette a while ago at TJ Maxx, I believe. It is a Revolution Pro palette in the new neutral. This is the Romance palette. And on the inside, it looks like this. Yeah, pretty colors. Ignore my nails, but look at the pretty colors. Look at that. I love how it has cools, I love how it has warms, I love how it has shimmers, and I love how it has like pressed pigments. Like this nostalgic one right here. I'm sure that's pressed pigment. Thank you. But um it's gorgeous. If I'm using that, let me bring it out. I'm gonna do it. I can really really load it up. Load it up. I have a lipstick that I'm thinking about wearing, but then I don't know if I'm gonna wear gloss on top of it. I don't know what I'm gonna do. But okay, let's 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 get on with the makeup. Let's get on with the makeup. So my face is moisturized. I'm loving how it's feeling. Let me back so we are sure to include the hairline when we are doing this because I constantly forget. Um I'm actually gonna step away and I'm going to do my brows and then I'm gonna come back. I'll be back. All right, I'm back and my brows are done and they're dark, but I'm liking it. I'm feeling it. It's not like, oh girl. Um, it may seem like I'm right in a sink. I'm not like, Okay, primer time. I am using the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Um, I like this. I think it's, you know, okay, it works. I just put my finger in there and kind of just dig in while well, I just want to. It does seem a little white cast, but I think that's okay. So I know where I got to put some. Now this is the only thing about me doing my eyebrows before I do like everything else is that I'm always concerned that I'm gonna mess my eyebrows up. I don't know why nobody got time for that. They gonna stay down, let them stay. My sleeping dogs lie. Okay, there we go. Primer is down. Foundation. I am using the Maybelline up to 30 hours foundation. I am in the shade 370 bronze, but I'm not sure I'm in the shade 370 bronze. 
Let's see. It's a very runny foundation. Well, that makes more sense. Like it, like, you know what I mean? Um, that's that's enough. See, I think it's coming off a lot. I don't know if it's the. I'm using natural light. So. Here's my mirror. I'm using natural light, and I love that I can. I got. I don't know. I don't have to question what I'm seeing. See what everybody else about to see when I step out this door. <laughs> see, it's a little bit darker than I am currently, but it's okay. That is okay. Concealer. I don't know if I even want to go in with this. I think if I'm using this, I just I want to like that is still visible. I like the like I I like the 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 foundation though. That is still visible. So I'm gonna go in with foundation I can see you and I'm gonna go with the contour that's what it's gonna be like start coming together I hope I think I'll just use the same little brush that I just used and just tap those spots in I usually put this underneath my concealer that I am using to brighten under my eye, but then it's like kind of like, what's the point? What's the point of doing that? I feel like I'm wasting this concealer that I genuinely like. Not that I don't like the other one that I'm about to use to kind of brighten everything up. It's just that the other one's expensive as shit. I have to stop wasting that. And that is the Kosa concealer, and this is 8.8 neutral. And there I am in the okay. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Line.
And the reason, I guess the reason I always mix it is because then it becomes too bright if I don't mix it. So I guess I mix it in my car. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, now let's do the eyes. So I'm never gonna do it like this again. I'm always gonna do it with the Kosas concealer underneath. I'm never doing this again. I feel like I look like death. But there's one thing that's supposed to help bring this back to life. And it's gonna be the powder that I set it with. Or I'm about to add a drop of quesos so that I can feel alive again. Cause this draw looking crazy. Couple of eyes. Cause I don't think it naturally like takes anything away from the concealer. I think it just kind of neutralizes it because the concealer itself. Now that I'm looking at it. It's definitely not my shape, but when I use it with the quesos, I feel a lot better about my decisions in life. I'm just going to take the foundation brush for that, and I'm just going to go around and making sure that things are indeed blended. Still up in this brush that I can bring myself back to life. Okay, now let me set it. This is gonna bring it back to life. This is gonna bring it back to life. Oh. Okay, this is a very delicate process. Alright, okay, so this is what this is what I do. This is me standing, right? I'm gonna move my chair because I don't want to get on my chair because I'm looking at my pants. I'm gonna just take my brush, I'm gonna sponge, dab 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 in the powder, and looking down like my head is down. I don't want any powder on me. Oh yes, there we go, there we go. Bring me back to life, child. Stop trying to change shit up. I'm going to stir. I'm going to the other side. I guess I can say. Now, usually I would just do this and let it just fall on my pants, but I'm wearing these pants out today. So, let's not do that. Get the other side of my nose.
forehead. Okay. That way, I don't have to worry about that powder on my shirt and powder on my pants. Maybe I feel like I have to change my outfit. That ain't happening. Because I'm dressed. I'm just pushing the powder into my hairline so it. Time for this cream contour. I feel like I'm constantly trying to see, or constantly trying to make this work. All right, I'm gonna take this. This is a natural bristle brush. I'm gonna take it. And I'm gonna dab it in there. Constantly picking this back up just because I want things to look very, very blended. I don't want things to look separated. I don't, yeah, I don't want to do that. And then I'm actually going to take a powder brush, and this one doesn't have anything on it, but I'm sure this is the one I'll use later. And just make sure my chin and my neck. Cause I feel like those are areas where I really, really forget to blend it up. And then I'll look on the camera later and I'm like, God dang it. Um, but okay. So that's done. Creams are done. Um, I don't know if I want to set this concealer, this um, contour. If I do. I don't know the snatch.
all just get set. And then I go ahead and set it again. And I'm pulling out this red brush that dropped. Um, the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the Shady 360 Mocha. And I'm just gonna put it up on the brush. Okay, let's move on to eyeshadow. Super excited. I haven't gotten to play with this bad boy yet. So, let's go. Bring it on. Bring it close. Get close. We are all friends here. Um, I don't know if I want to put a base on. I think I just want to jump in there. And, uh, and do this. So, let's go in with a... Uh, a light brown color and let's go ahead and put that in my crease area why don't we so this is a shape precious here okay so this is warmer than I thought it would be but that's fine I should have known it definitely looks more in the palette itself. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the same exact brush and go in with a lighter shade and see if I can blend that out even more. Oh, this just added a whole different color. Okay. It's turning it into pink. Okay, so these shades are pigmented, so that is good. Um, 
I'm going to put. Cause I just got it. I just need something on my actual. Don't do the shade. Maybe I'll do something. No, I'm gonna do the shade. Okay. Definitely bring it together, but I feel like I need to go in and uh, any harsh lines. I'm just going to go ahead and blend it in with the first color we laid down. I'm not adding any more color to this brush. I'm just using it to blend everything together. I'm in love with this. I feel like if I really wanted to, I can just go ahead and make this lid color darker and go out like that and just call it a day. I don't have to put any shimmer or anything. Like this may just be a matte kind of day. So I can just load this baby up. So, so far these, um, these shadows, I like them. They do, they are very, very soft though. So, I don't know if I want to keep packing, but I think this is okay. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and blend again so you can see the gradual transition from really, really deep to not that deep to uh, this thing looks amazing. a really really small brush because I want to do something different in the eye area I don't in the um, inner eye I don't know if I, I think I want to keep it matte though but I don't think I'm gonna do that I don't think I have a shade for that so I'm actually gonna take this, this brush it's it looks like a uh, dual yeah I don't think it's gonna get that much pale I would have to 
put some glitter glue in here to get that paint off. But this purple that I am packing on, this purple color that it's giving me, yes, yes. Let's keep that going. Without looking like I have bruised eyes. So I may not even add that really, really dark red down here. I may just keep the, the um, this color down here and call it a day. My camera automatically stopped. I don't know where y'all, I don't know what happened, but it stopped. Gosh darn it. Um, But what I was saying is that I am going to put a door down there and that's the dark red that's on my lids. But I'm just dragging it in from the corner to like halfway down or halfway in, I guess I should say. Cause I don't want it to look as if I have bruised my eyes. Okay. I need more of this pigment in here. Oh my god. You look gorgeous, you damn you. Somebody tell me something about myself that I didn't already know. <laughs> All right, let's hit it with the mascara. Let's do the booster first, the base, because I'm loving. Like I'm, I'm, I'm in love with this. Oh, everything fell. I dropped every single thing that I had in my hand. Even stuff that I didn't have in my hand. That's just my life. But I was, I was, as I was saying, I was so really interrupted by my own clumsiness. The mascara that I have, I love it. I mean, I love, like I'm, in, I'm genuinely in love with it. Like, like yeah, like that in my book. And it's only like the sample size that I have. Well, I, I have to put that size and it's waterproof.
I think I'm gonna do Neo. I think I'm gonna do Neo. Yeah. Or I can just stick with my OD favorite. Not even OD favorite, but this is just literally my favorite blush, hands down. Snap Dragon by um, KBD. Yeah, this works. I just find reasons to make this show, to make this blush work. Now, I don't know, some people don't like when their blush shows, but I paid money for my blush. You know what I mean? Like, why wouldn't I want you to do this up on Alright, let's go ahead and do this mascara. Let's see what I mean. um, this is the Sky Maybelline Sky High mascara. Girl, if you don't have this mascara, you are playing with your own life. Like, you don't want to succeed in life because. I know I gotta rub my lid. I'm gonna just leave it there. I'm gonna try this out. Just flip it off. Like, oh. Okay, so. And I don't even have lashes. And this is gonna be like, girl, we got you. And this is my first time using it with a base, like with the um, lash primer. And honestly, I think it doesn't make a difference. Like, you still get the same effect in my book. So if you have a base and you just want to use it, go for it. But if you don't, you're still going to get the same amazing effects from this mascara. Hands down. Hands down. One of my favorites. My number one favorite currently. Second favorite is the um telescopic. So right now is this. This is number one. Telescopic is number two. Okay. 
Like it literally just completely opens my eyes. If you, I'm using natural lighting. So if you guys are wondering why it's going like in and out and all that stuff, that's why. It's such a, it was such a beautiful day that I was like, I have to go ahead and use natural lighting. Yes, this works. I just want to hit it with a gloss though. So I 
I literally just painted it into my lid. But this eye look, this lip, oh, I know exactly what jacket I'm wearing today. And then while it's looking like this, same type of powder brush. I'm going in with the all nighter waterproof setting powder. I didn't that for it. And I'm just gonna And then I'm just gonna take it. Yeah, so I'm gonna be Okay, let's zoom out. lip gloss, my lip liner, and this lipstick, just in case. I'm taking this powder brush, and uh, I'm gonna take this one, or I'm gonna take the Maybelline. I think I'm gonna take the Maybelline. Or do I wanna take Mac? I don't know. Let's see what's going on with this hair. For my silver ones, I have chunky gold ones. So maybe you gotta go with the back. Oh, 
Okay, um, and then I'm gonna take this Jacqueline. This is supposed to be a translucent setting powder, but it's too, it has too much shimmer for me to be an all over. And it's just stark white. As you guys can see now the makeup it kind of makes sense with the, my, my body <laughs> kind of um yeah i'm feeling real bougie can you hear me do you understand what i'm saying bougie because my look is killing it shimmer on my cheeks I just don't feel like it um I think I have that on my nose and in certain areas it's okay it works but I don't want to put anything on my cheeks Cause I ain't, mm, I ain't even no goddamn mask today. Look at my face. <gasps> oh, you know what? I know what I've been carrying. I have been carrying this, and I don't know if I want to keep. If I want to keep carrying. Like I don't. I think I'm gonna keep carrying it. I'm gonna just carry it. So this is my, my little carry on and I'm putting the lip liner in there I'm putting the lipstick in there and I'm putting the gloss in there and I think I'm going to use this for my contact today um and then I want to 
gonna take a, my powder brush or do I wanna just take a different compact? No, I wanna take my powder brush. So this this is cute. Sir. It's gonna get dirty fast though. Am I making that? I don't know. It's really cute. No, I'm not taking it. I don't want that to get dirty. Oh, put my glasses. Need glasses to see. No. pinch this powder brush I know it has, still has loads of powder on it and I'm just gonna go on the sides of my nose and just make sure I powder that before I put my glasses on glasses are on if I could only see without them oh when I wear no glasses all right I'm taking a different compact in case I need to powder and then the brush can just go right on top. So I have chapstick, I have lipstick, I have a liner, I have gloss, I have the whole nine. In case some of my want to act up. I need to get snatched up. Get together. Get together. So I'm not even gonna be out that long. And like I said, I'm not wearing a mask. Um Oh, yeah. <gasps> if I wanted to, I could even put myself in a hat today. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see how this works. Mixing it with um, a Chanel, but I think that's what I'm using today. Okay, bag is packed. Uh, let me look at my jacket. 